What's good, fellas and ladies? What's cracking? Man, is it cold enough for you guys, man? Um, especially everybody on the East Coast right now. This weather is stupid. You dig? I wish I was still back in Tucson, Arizona right now because this cold, I don't, we don't go together at all. You feel me? I need to be back in Tucson right now enjoying some 65, 70 degree weather right about now. You feel me? Probably take a trip across the border to California. Yeah, you feel me, but this right here, I can't get with this at all. You feel me? I'm not. But anyway, um, yeah, man, just had to get that off my chest real quick. On the way to the post office real quick to uh, drop this off my man. You already know that box is, you already know where it's going if you've seen uh, the video I did a few days ago. But anyway, but yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about, y'all. Go ahead and get to moving. Um, how many people have ever gotten gotten into a conversation? I'm talking about sneakers, kicks, or whatever. And all all of a sudden, the conversation went from light to straight up hostile. Show of hands. Because I've noticed since I've been on YouTube, you know, I've seen a lot of guys make videos about sneakers. And of course, when you read some of the comments, some people be going the hell off in the comment section about how they feel about somebody else, else's opinion about how they feel about a certain sneaker. And I always thought that was kind of crazy to me. I was like, okay, it's ridiculous. You're mad at somebody because they don't like a certain shoe and you take offense to it. <laughs> so, you know, I always look at it as, eh, whatever, until it happened to me. All right? So, my brother-in-law, um, huge Jordan head, right? And he remembers me as being a Jordan guy too, right? But um, you know, we haven't spoken for for a minute because we had some issues. And um, if you guys refer back to some videos that are a while back, you you know why I'm not gonna get into that again. But since then, we've, 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 we've talked, we've made up and everything. But he doesn't know that, um, you know, I don't rock with Jordan brand like that anymore. You know, he, does, he doesn't know that. So, the other day, you know, when all this talk about the whole remastered Jordans started coming up, you know, of course, you know, he's happy. You feel me? He's happy. Oh, Jordan, you know, you know, Jordan brand about to get it cracking again. Woo, woo, woo. You know, he's, you know, cheerleading for Jordan brand, right? So, uh, he was like, yo, I know this is when the Columbia's or to the new schools, the Legend Blues was coming out. He was like, yo, I know we, we about to go get them Legend Blues, right? And I'm like, we ain't about to do a damn thing. <laughs> you and your own, bro. And he was like, what? I'm like, man, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know you want them Legend Blues, cuz. I'm like, nah, fam. You, that's all you. You know? I was like, I'm not feeling JB like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I, I still look at these shoes and say, hey, yeah, they're nice. But it's nothing that... um. I would clamor over like I used to back in the day. And he didn't understand that. So I, when I explained to him my position, you know, he was like, eh? right? And 
but he was like, but yo, they but they putting new materials and they making them like they used to make them back in the day. Ooh. And um, once again, you know, I was held my ground and I said what I, how I felt. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was like, honestly, and to be honest with you, and this is a lot, you know, a lot of you guys first time hearing this too. I'm like, I never was a big fan of the Columbians back in the day. I like the Levens, but for some reason, to me, I thought the Columbians, and I still do think the Columbians are a tad bit hideous. All right? He did not know how to take that. Uh, long story short, my man got, he got pissy. He really got upset, pissed off. Because I said the Columbia's or the Legend Blues were ugly. All right, damn near one. I mean, like, and I'm laughing, and I guess the more I'm laughing, the more upset he was getting. Because I'm like, cuz why are you getting this upset about something that clearly doesn't have anything to do with you? If you like him, keep liking him. I didn't never once said stop liking this shoe because I don't like it anymore, you know, and I'm not going to change my opinion because you're upset, what, what's the problem, man, I can't believe you going to say it about, and then he starts going about, you know, the history of these shoes and blah, 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 and I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm looking like, bro, cuz, do you really realize what you're saying right now, like, you know, yeah, you know, sneakers to me bring, brings back a lot of memories and everything. But I told you, when it comes to Jordan brand, how I feel about the whole brand and just my whole stance about how behind the whole thing. And then, you know, because I look at this particular shoe and I say it's ugly in my eyes, you take offense to it. How much money is Jordan brand putting in your pocket? Because when these shoes drop, you're gonna have to go stand in line because that's what he does. You're gonna go have to stand in line, camp out, and spend over two hundred dollars for this particular pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Jordan is not going to personally write you a letter thanking you for spending, you know, a a, a, a small car note on his shoes. He's not going to congratulate you for uh, standing in the, the cold weather, waiting for hours, and in some people's cases for days on these shoes. He's not gonna commend you for ducking a bullet or getting swung on in a fight because somebody cut you in line and got upset, and got upset about it. He's not going to do any of that. I mean, a lot of these shoe companies are not going to do that. But, you know, when it comes to Jordan brand, that's not about to happen. Cause So, you know, <laughs> why, why you mad at me for, bro? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I just don't understand the mentality of people when it comes to Jordans. And I was like, damn... Because it's been a, you know, a little while for me, but I'm like, damn, did I used to act like that? And I had to ask my wife, I had to ask, you know, a few other people that I speak to. And they was like, no, I don't remember you getting, you know, all in your feelings because a difference of opinion about a pair of shoes. And I'm like, okay, I just got to make sure. Just got to make sure, you know what I'm saying? But my brother-in-law is a, pr a, pr a prime example of people out there. And I'm quite sure you guys know people out there who are just like that. You get all off in their feelings because you don't like what they like. And it's like, come on, man. We talking about sneakers here. Sneakers. Sneakers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, why take it so personal? You know what I'm saying? I got on some busted up Harachis right now. I can be walking anywhere. 
wherever I'm going, right? See somebody I know, we get to talk whenever and, and whatnot, and somebody look at my feet and be like, oh man, you got the haraches on? Uh, I, mean, I think the haraches are ugly. My thing is, why should I take offense to it? They didn't say, DJ, I think you're ugly. I think, you know, your physical appearance sickens me. They're talking about a shoe that somebody else designed that I happen to like and put on my feet. You know what I'm saying? These shoes don't make me. These shoes are not me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like them. I bought them, obviously. But I don't get... I don't take offense because of your opinion about these shoes. Okay, they, you think they're ugly. Okay. Great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. But people are out there just like, and I, to me, it's kind of, it's like, it's like a sickness, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think people are like borderline mentally retarded when it comes to how deep they feel about a difference of opinion when it comes to a, a pair of freaking sneakers. It's it's just it's it's retarded to me, for a lack of a better word. It it just is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's my story, man. I'm. I don't know if you know if any of you guys ever had a conversation out there with a sneakerhead like that. That's why I like the term sneakerhead because you know with, with that term comes BS like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't want to be considered a sneakerhead. You know, don't call me a sneakerhead. Just call it. I, I'm a do. I like sneakers, yes, but you know, sneakers aren't my life. I don't get offended because you don't like what I like. You know what I'm saying? I don't think about sneakers 24-7. You know what I'm saying? I don't get up in the morning and be like, I, I just don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? When I, got, when I get that itch, when I want a pair of kicks, I'll go find them, cop, buy them, and, and that's just about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get on YouTube. I do my, my, my sneaker unboxing review thing, whatever or not, but you know, it, it doesn't really expand further than that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Like I said, some people just they just amaze me. It really does. And at the same time I'm amazed, I'm sad at the same damn time. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Get off that mess, man. There's so much other stuff going on out here. You getting mad because I don't like Jays no more? <laughs> man, kill yourself. Anyway, but that's it, man. I'm took a, enough of you guys time already I'm at my destination I'm about to go ahead and drop this box off and take it to the house and get out of this freaking cold so you know of course leave your comments man if you ever been in a situation before been in a situation before I'd love to know you know how did you handle the situation or were you just as blown away as I was but that's it I'm done so until next time you know how it go Always be unique and stand out instead of being the same and just blending in. It's your boy, Mr. NC Stand Up. That'll be easy, and I'll get it to y'all later. Deuces.